All right, this is the how to start an IV line for MRI technologist. This is the uh, IV catheter that I prefer to use. Uh, if you don't have these, uh, there is a video uh, using this one. If you don't have these, now that's why we're making this video, we're using this one. This is a 24 gauge, it also comes in 22 gauge and 20 gauge. The yellow is the 24 gauge. This is the smallest uh, that we have. Sometimes you can't use a 22 gauge needle because the veins are too small. That's why we would use a 24. Um, this does not come in a 24 gauge. This only comes in 22 and 20 gauge. Okay, so let's get started. Everything is ready. We have our saline to test the line, our extension tubing, band-aid, tape. We have our alcohol. Everything's ready to go. Okay, uh, in this case I'm wearing gloves. This type of catheter is very messy. You will see blood if you're squeamish. Uh, sorry. Okay, so everybody has their own technique in this. This is my technique. My fingers are through here. I pull this one tight and this one tight. Put it through. Hook it with your finger and pull it through. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight, and there. Now, uh, you have the, uh, the patient start making a fist. Okay, stop. So, in this case, the patient here, bend your elbow a little bit. You'll see the crease. Okay, so patients will usually have a, a vein here, or one here, or one here. Usually two of the three, you'll see in this case, we have these two. Um, the last video, we had one here and one here. So you'll see in this case, there's two veins here. I can fill them, I can palpate them. Um, the one that's easiest to palpate is this one. Now, you can't see it, but I know that it's there. I also know that the vein, it goes this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ink pen. I'm going to kind of mark where I want to inject. But I'm also going to mark down here and up here so I know what direction the vein is going. There's a crossroads here. So it's here and here. OK, now I make a lot of marks because when I do my alcohol, the, the pen marks are going to come off. All right. I know that that vein is still going this direction. Very important that you know that. Okay, bevel up. I can't express that enough. Bevel up. If your bevel's not up, when you go to inject, the needle will skip across the skin and make a whole bunch of holes and scrapes in the skin. So bevel up, it should go right in. In this case, there's not a lot of tissue we have to penetrate. So we're going to use a more shallow angle. Um, have one or two of these things ready to go because this is going to be messy. And uh, all of my stuff is here, ready to go. Tape, okay. So we're going to go in at a shallow angle in this case. Uh, one thing to do is you could push down here and pull on the skin a little bit. Okay, we're going to go in just a little bit. Okay, a little bit. All right, let's try this again. This vein is not cooperating. Notice I'm, I didn't get it the first time. I'm holding the catheter with my finger as I go in and out. Check my vein status, and it's over this way more. And the patient's bending his arm. Probably why we can't get into the vein. Oh, the reason is why is because he's, um, there it goes. All right, so I'm not pushing all the way in now. I don't want the needle to go all the way in. I just wanted to get into the vein. Now, by, now I'm holding the catheter and I'm going to advance using my two index fingers. I'm advancing the catheter. Notice the needle is not moving anymore. Okay, once the catheter is advanced all the way, I'm going to pop the tourniquet. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Because the needle is still in the catheter, it's not flowing blood. Okay, there's a trick where you can take your pinky finger and pinch the vein, then when you take out the thing, it shouldn't flow blood. But in this case, it's flowing, flowing a little bit. If I let my pinky go, it starts flowing blood. Now, without pulling the needle out, you want to hold on to the catheter and attach your line. Need, the catheter is still in the, in the vein there. Notice the blood, lots of blood with these things. Now I'm going to draw back, get the blood, get the bubbles out, 
and then inject slowly, watching for uh, any infiltration or bubbles, nothing there. So this works really good. Okay. Now, once you get, you have a nice flow, you take your tape and you put a piece across like this. Now this is going to hold the catheter down, okay? You don't have to leave this here, but in this case we're going to. Yeah, just connect your, this thing. This is a one-way valve in here, so I don't have to shut, shut off using this thing because this one-way valve will keep anything from flowing out. We don't have to use this because of the one-way valve. So we need to put a little bit more tape in here. Now, what I'm going to do is create a little loop here, and then I'm going to tape down this thing like this. Now, when I, when I inject, now when I attach my IV line to this, if it pulls, it's not going to pull the catheter out. And so we're going to put a couple more pieces of tape over here. And you always want to put one kind of in this direction. It kind of holds the catheter, keeps it from pulling out. And you can tape it up as much as you want. This is the bare minimum amount. I wouldn't put any less than this, but you could put more if you'd like. And that's it. Now your IV line will attach here, and your line will go.